the financial year 19 top priorities are exciting. An expression of a new social identity. If we want our operations to be better, things have got to change. My attitude towards change is making sure that you're part of it. Without change, at some point, we would go out of business. Change doesn't necessarily come from top management because change comes from leaders. And leaders, as we know, are all over in the organization, from the chef floor to the plants to everywhere else where the people are. All of us have to see ourselves as change agents. Reputation is the sum perception of the brand. It is what people perceive the brand to be, as well as the actuality of their brand. It has become quite important for us to get to know and understand our customers better. And this, if we do, will place us in a better and competitive position. Without customers, we have no business. With unhappy customers, not only we don't have a business, but we have a terrible reputation to deal with. And you do not do it simply because it's your job, but you do it because you care because you care of people, you care of the stakeholders. Companies, I believe that they should create value and benefit the, the communities with, within which they operate. What is key strategically is making sure that our relationship is enhanced. Identifying those partners being customers, being stakeholders, key being governments themselves. Part of this journey is finding the right partnerships, partnering authentically in the right way to achieve outcomes that are win-win. It's really important that we enhance our foundation business. It forms the platform to our growth, to our sustainability. We have to deliver on our sheet targets, our operations targets, efficiency and people. Looking at now is the aligned goal, the 2% return on invested capital uplift. Also supporting the continuous improvement drive. And one that I'm particularly excited about is really digitalization. That means having access to real-time information to enhance the customer experience. The environmental roadmap is key, I think, to the sustainability of the Cecil model. Reducing our footprint, how this can continuously improve our operations how this can lead to efficiencies. This priority is a huge opportunity for all of us to contribute and we have to leverage on our biggest asset, which is our human capital. What are we doing to grow? What are we doing to maintain our relevance in the market, especially an ever-changing market? In order for Cecil to grow and sustain our growth momentum, we cannot afford to, to, to work as silos. We all have to bring our part in and help where it's required. We are involved in strengthening our balance sheet through various activities within our army. For any business to achieve growth, there needs to be focused attention and directed energies towards growth. With the LTCP coming online, Sassel is like an athlete preparing for the next race. And as a company, we need to start preparing ourselves for the next growth phase. And with growth comes exciting opportunities and new challenges for all of us. Safety is the priority. With LCCP commissioning underway, safety, and in particular our program to eliminate high severity incidents, is at the forefront of every plan, every task, every day. Safety affects us all, whether you work in the operation or you are in the office. I first need to believe that zero harm is possible, and then it is actually when the work starts. Our mindset is we will achieve zero harm and our goal is to impart that mindset on every single employee. Safety is not about a number on a piece of paper. It is about impacting lives. I like to go home to my family every day unharmed. So why can't my team? Nothing is more motivating to me. Any great safety program needs a strong base. The 12 life-saving rules provides this concise, straightforward foundation. The safety culture, safety excellence, and, and achieving those safety targets it pulls people together and we all towards a common goal. We can make aspirational culture a competitive advantage for Cecil. But I've always said, before you can wow the customers, make sure you wow the people internally. From a leadership perspective, it's really about what do you do? What do you say? I think that is important to ingrain the new culture that we would like to pursue. And most importantly, leadership is not talents and fear or command and control but it's constructive dialogue, making sure that the leadership is rooted in trust. We need to leave the Sassel values, give meaning to them, let the people see and experience them. 
and then we'll be able to appeal to their hearts to take this organization to the next level. What excites me about this cultural shift is that we're going to be ready for tomorrow. This is everybody's opportunity to step in and create this journey together. It's all about being part of the business transition rather than feel that you are the victim of change. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Be bold, go ahead, and be innovative. It will create trust. It will create respect. Work together, hold each other accountable. The vision is there, the ambition is there, and I hope that it excites you, that your passion is being reignited for you to believe in Sasol again. All hands on deck, together we can do more.